Welcome to Simple Investing Secrets. In today's video, we'll review 10 top gene editing stocks for investors to buy in 2023. So before we start, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for weekly updates. Let's get started. Gene therapy and gene editing are on the cutting edge of modern biotechnology. Gene therapies are used to correct genetic abnormalities by introducing genetic material at a cellular level, and they can often take the form of adding a functioning copy of a gene. Gene editing takes the science to the next level, seeking to directly alter the genome itself as a therapeutic approach. Most gene editing stocks have taken a big hit in 2022, but top Wall Street analysts still expect the genome editing market to grow 53.1% annually and reach $59.5 billion by 2027. Here are 10 of the best gene editing stocks to buy in 2023, according to Bank of America. Number 10. Agilent Technologies Incorporated, ticker, A. Agilent Technologies Incorporated was incorporated in 1999 and is headquartered in Santa Clara, California. The company provides application-focused solutions to the life sciences, diagnostics, and applied chemical markets worldwide. The diagnostics and genomics segment offers arrays for DNA mutation detection, genotyping, gene copy number determination, identification of gene rearrangements, DNA methylation profiling, gene expression profiling, next-generation sequencing, target enrichment, and genetic data management. Agilent Technologies Incorporated is one of the best gene editing stocks to monitor. On September 21st, Agilent Technologies declared a $0.21 cents per share quarterly dividend, in line with previous target. The dividend is payable on October 26, 2022, to shareholders of record on October 4th. The forward yield was 0.66%. Credit Suisse analyst Dan Leonard on August 24 initiated coverage of Agilent Technologies Incorporated with an outperform rating and a $165 price target. The analyst believes that the street underappreciates its ability to grow toward the top end of the industry in multiple macro environments. The analyst believes a premium multiple to its peers is appropriate for Agilent Technologies, due to its quick growth prospects. According to Insider Monkey's Q2 data, 41 hedge funds were bullish on Agilent Technologies, compared to 43 funds in the earlier quarter. Ian Sims Impact's asset management is the biggest stakeholder of the company, with 4.16 million shares worth $495 million. Number 9. Sangamo Therapeutics Incorporated Ticker, SGMO. Sangamo Therapeutics Incorporated is headquartered in Brisbane, California, operating as a clinical stage biotechnology company focusing on the development of genomic medicines using platform technologies in gene therapy, cell therapy, genome editing, and genome regulation. Sangamo Therapeutics Incorporated is one of the best gene editing stocks to buy now. In October 2022, Sangamo Therapeutics Incorporated announced updated preliminary results from the Phase Half Star clinical study evaluating ST920, a wholly owned gene therapy product candidate for the treatment of Fabry disease. The data indicates that the treatment continued to be generally well tolerated, with no treatment-related serious risks found in the trial candidates. Sangamo Therapeutics Incorporated is planning for a potential Phase 3 clinical trial. Among the hedge funds tracked by Insider Monkey, 19 funds reported owning stakes worth $48.3 million in Sangamo Therapeutics Incorporated at the end of Q2 2022, compared to 18 funds in the prior quarter worth $37.8 million. Chris Rocos of Rocos Capital Management is the leading stakeholder of the company, with 3 million shares worth $12.5 million. Number 8. Editas Medicine, ticker, EDIT. Editas was co-founded in 2013 by CRISPR gene editing pioneers Feng Zhang, George Church, J. Keith Jung, and David Liu. Its mission is to translate the power and potential of genome editing into a broad class of gene-edited medicines that transform lives of people living with serious diseases. The company's lead pipeline candidate, Edit 101, targets rare genetic eye disease Liber congenital amaurosis 10. Editas expects to provide an update from an ongoing early-stage clinical study featuring Edit 101 in the second half of 2022. In July 2022, the FDA lifted a partial clinical hold on a clinical study evaluating Edit 301 and treating SCD. Editas plans to report results from the study by the end of 2022. It's also moving forward with patient dosing in a study of gene editing therapy and treating patients with TDT. Editas could soon add another clinical program to its pipeline. The company is on track to begin IND enabling studies for Edit 103 by late 2022 in treating a rare retinal degenerative disorder called Rhodopsin associated autosomal dominant retinitis pigmentosa. Number 7. CRISPR Therapeutics AG, ticker, CRSP. 
CRISPR Therapeutics is a biotech company that uses gene editing tool CRISPR-Cas9 to treat blood disorders and cancer. CRISPR and partner Vertex Pharmaceuticals Incorporated are optimistic that the company's gene editing treatment will obtain approval from the Food and Drug Administration for treating sickle cell disease and transfusion-dependent beta thalassemia in the near future. Analyst Jeff Meacham says there is a high likelihood of regulatory approval. Additional updates on other key products, including treatments targeting B-cell malignancies in the immune system, could be bullish catalysts for the stock in 2023. Bank of America has a buy rating and $116 price target for CRSP stock, which closed at $40.33 on December 29, 2022. Number 6. Beam Therapeutics Incorporated, ticker, BEAM. Beam Therapeutics uses CRISPR technology to change single bases in the genome with a technique called base editing, which only breaks one strand of the DNA and may have higher cell survival rates. The company focuses on hemoglobinopathy and oncology indications but is also researching treatment for ocular and liver disease. Analyst Greg Harrison says Beam's recent news that it is moving a treatment candidate called Beam 102 into Wave 2 of its sickle cell disease program is a positive step. Also significant is the company's initiation of another treatment as a product candidate for a genetic disorder called alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency. Harrison says the company's unique platform can create significant value for investors over time. Bank of America has a buy rating and $74 price target for Beam stock, which closed at $38.71 on December 29, 2022. Number 5. Apelles Pharmaceuticals Incorporated, ticker, APLS. Apelles Pharmaceuticals is a biotech company focused on therapies targeting the complement pathway of the immune system, which enhances the immune system's ability to clear damaged cells. The company's main product is Pegsaticaplan, which is already approved in the U.S. for treating paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria, a rare acquired blood disease and is in late-stage development for treating geographic atrophy, a cause of vision loss in old age. In 2021, Apelles announced a new collaboration with Beam Therapeutics to leverage base editing technology to research new precision therapies for the eye, liver and brain. According to analyst Tazin Ahmad, Apelles is ahead of its competition in the race to bring the first geographic atrophy treatment to the market. Bank of America has a buy rating and $82 price target for APLS stock, which closed at $51.52 on December 29. Number 4. Graphite Bio Incorporated, ticker, GRPH. Graphite Bio is a gene editing technology company that leverages both CRISPR and natural DNA repair processes. Meacham says Graphite has enough cash to fund the initial data readout from its sickle cell disease program and an investigational new drug submission for a product that replaces the mutated beta globin gene to treat beta thalassemia. Graphite expects mid phase, proof of concept data in mid 2023. Meacham says Graphite remains in early stage clinical development, so investing in the stock may require patience. Graphite's advantage is that its gene editing platform is differentiated from competitors and has the potential to generate significant long-term value. Bank of America has a buy rating and $10 price target for GRPH stock, which closed at $3.22 on December 29, 2022. Number 3. Caribou Biosciences Incorporated, ticker, CRBU. Caribou Biosciences is a biotech company developing gene-edited cell therapies to treat cancer. In December, Caribou provided positive updates on two of its trial phase treatments targeting non-Hodgkin lymphoma and solid tumors. Caribou said a third of the lymphoma patients maintained complete response at 12 months, and the company has enrolled three patients to test the therapy at a higher dose in 2023. The tumor treatment has solid preclinical data, says Meacham, but more data is needed to determine whether it could be a growth catalyst for the company. Meacham says the initial negative market reaction to the data was surprising given the updates didn't change his bullish thesis. Bank of America has a buy rating and $27 price target for CRBU stock, which closed at $6.05 on December 29, 2022. Number 2. Intellia Therapeutics Incorporated, ticker, NTLA. Intellia Therapeutics is a clinical stage biotech company developing gene editing products to treat a range of diseases. Its lead program for treating transthyroidin amyloidosis, a protein disorder affecting the heart, is in mid-phase trials. Harrison says Intellia's latest batch of data on a treatment for hereditary angioedema, which causes swelling in the body, demonstrates impressive efficacy, and the company plans to move to the phase 2 dose expansion stage of that program in early 2023. Harrison says positive data from that program is also good news for Intellia's lead program, given similarities between the two. 
Bank of America has a buy rating and $92 price target for NTLA stock, which closed at $35.28 on December 29, 2022. Number 1. Vertex Pharmaceuticals Inc., ticker, VRTX. Vertex Pharmaceuticals develop small molecule therapeutics for treating cystic fibrosis and inflammatory conditions. In 2021, Vertex acquired the rights to 60% of the profits from sales of CRISPR therapeutics gene editing therapy CTX001, now called XSL, for up to $1.1 billion, pending regulatory approval. In September, Vertex and CRISPR announced they are submitting XSL to the FDA and European regulators for review in treating sickle cell disease and transfusion-dependent beta thalassemia. Meacham says Vertex has a differentiated growth profile, and its emerging orphan disease pipeline could generate additional upside for investors. Bank of America has a buy rating and $345 price target for VRTX stock, which closed at $289.08 on December 29, 2022. This concludes our list of the 10 top gene editing stocks to buy in 2023. As always, it is essential to do your due diligence before committing your hard-earned cash to buying stocks or investing in the market. Which of these gene editing stocks would you consider adding to your investment portfolio in 2023? Let us know in the comments below. Remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel for weekly updates on the best stocks to buy and cutting-edge investment strategies for building wealth. Thanks for watching, and best of luck with your investments.